rated home venues in all of the NFL resides in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where we find ourselves at Nissan Stadium. Today, it's an intra-division matchup in the AFC South, as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Tennessee Titans. Now Minshew on first and 10. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. Boom! Still fighting through tackles. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards on the game's opening play. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. They run with the All-Pro from a couple of years ago, Jonathan Taylor. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. That one for Indianapolis resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Throwing on first down is Minshew. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact, but that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. Minshew, first and ten. That's caught by his tight end, Kylan Granson. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Minshew sets to throw. And he had to reach for that one, but can't grab it. It's behind him, and it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Here's Minshew. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Taylor is going to take this one in for a Colts touchdown. And the thing you have to love about Jonathan Taylor He's a shifty speed guy most of the time when you hand him the football, but he's not coming off the field when you get down near the goal line because he's as tough and gritty as they come. And he finishes things off here by getting into the end zone. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0.
Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 right at the 30. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Again, it's Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball, the ones in the huddle doing the chirping, right now I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Third and two, Tannehill. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, Tannehill. That'll be complete to a Conquero. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession. Here's a second and eight, as they've got it as we resume action. Henry again on second down. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 26. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. I'm going back to you. Now it's Tannehill. That is caught, and he takes it down to the 10 yard line. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Let's go, let's go. On first and 10, Tannehill. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Derek. 
Derrick Henry. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, I think Josh Norman can sympathize. He knows a little something about a run like this from Derrick Henry. I mean, that stiff arm might be the best in the business. Oh, there's no doubt about it. We'll see that Josh Norman play forever and ever, won't we? Because at Derrick Henry's size, 6'3", nearly 250, you know he's not shying away from contact. And here he just kept the defender at arm's length as he barreled his way into the end zone. I mean, just put that arm into the chest, and there he goes. had it each team has scored 7-7 here as the kicks away this fielded right at the goal line and a decent return out to the 27 yard line the Indy offense at the line and set to go so both of these teams Charles coming off touchdowns now but this offense they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. At the Titans, 49 yard line. Two yards to go, second down. Running left, Taylor. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 38-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Second down now, Minshew out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 16. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Now Minshew. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Second and 10. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And that's off the mark, incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum 
by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, it looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. The Colts send out their new kicker for 2023, Matt Gay, for the field goal. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And Gay knocks this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, and I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. On first down, it's Tannehill. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Complete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Open man, that's Henry. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First down. Over the middle complete. It's Hopkins. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Tannehill. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And they'll come up second and seven. Here's Tannehill. And brought in downfield by Burks. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 21. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. And his throw is incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Now a second and ten. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they let you Tannehill. Over the middle, he has a conquo. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 
Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. To throw is Tannehill. That's to Burks, and he's got it. Touchdown, Tennessee. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Titans have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So the potential could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Well, now how about this return? And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. They'll throw now on the final play. He'll let one go deep for downs. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we've reached halftime here in Nashville, the Music City, with the Titans out in front. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. On second down, here's Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are out on the field and only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is, because he understands how to get open in key situations. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. One advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. 
complete. It's Henry. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. From the 50, it's Tannehill. Ah, oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. They'll set up a throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw here. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and one. Now back to throw. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And they'll inside the 20. A big pickup of 38. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Back to throw again. That went behind his man, incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Here's second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Eyes the crossing route, and he finds Pittman. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Out of the gun is Minshew. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Mo Alley Cox from four yards out. And the Colts have retaken a third quarter lead. Here's a
So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well, moving the ball down the field. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now 17-14. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. third quarter of action we have played three quarters you're watching the nfl on ea sports so from the 36 now first and 10 Tannehill on the slant deandre hopkins and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 that would good for a pickup of 15 for tennessee Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Here's a second and five. Tannehill now to throw. Yeah, that one behind his receiver and incomplete. Looking for Traylon Burks that time. And it's third and five. Now Tannehill. Staying on his feet. Eluding the pressure right. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll punt it away for the second time. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays. But it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back, 
tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Second down, another run with Taylor. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here to have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. Again, it's Taylor. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give to Taylor. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. That one's on Quentin Nelson, the all-pro guard. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Tough spot here, third down and 11. Now a give to Taylor. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. This one no doubt important for Matt Gay. This to swell the lead to six. Gay's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. 
So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. team is out there now and they will send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Willis. He's going to let it fly. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Just kind of a wing and a prayer there. This ball's kind of up for grabs, but they're at a point where they have to live with that. And fortunately, this one winds up incomplete. Here's second down. One final try for Willis. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort. That was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we sign off from Nashville.